This is Ross at Woodfire Power and progress is coming along nicely on the new demonstration aquaponics research facility where we will endeavor to come up with new ways that you can use aquaponics to feed your family and or community. Here's a view of the property driving by to give a little sense of vertical scale. <clears throat> the first part of the field is open so we can we'll be able to plant whatever crops we want to in the soil there. And you can see the berm step up and the flatness of the first pad. There it is. Here where the white line is, step up to the second pad, we can also see the trench cut. And the step up. So this is the area of the fish pens. And there's a swale that I cut for when we've got winter rains. And the second one, and there's a quail. And then up the hill to the house. And we're at the house. So there's a drive-in on the property. Here's the lower corner. And here's looking up along the field. And if I get down, you can see this lower pad is pretty flat within a couple of inches, plus or minus. That's plenty flat enough to then level the tables out perfectly. And the tables will probably be level within a quarter of an inch or a half an inch. In digging the trench, I deposited most of the dirt over here. And the reason is because now I have a nice big pile of clean dirt that when I go to build the tables, I can use that to fill in little places where the level is off by a couple of inches. And now here, you can see the trench. And this will become the sumps and each fish pen, which will be up here. Now you can see how the upper pad is leveled out. It's actually sloping down in this direction, but from the front to the back, it's level. That reduced the amount of dirt I had to move while not really changing the function at all. And the sump now being the lowest position, the four foot tables will end pretty much right here at the edge and will drop their water down into the sump area. Each of the pairs of tables, there will be 12 tables, but they'll be in six pairs to where the water flows out down the length of one table and back up the length of the second table. So that forms a pair, and each pair will have its own sump, and each pair up here will have its own fish pen or raceway, and its own fish solids filtering system. That way, each of the pairs of tables remain biologically isolated, so that if there's a problem with the fish in one tank, that doesn't transfer to the entire operation. Hopefully we won't have any problems, but just planning ahead to keep things isolated in case we do. 
It also means that we can load the fish into one tank and bring that online, bringing a pair of tables online growing, and then we can work on the next one and then bring that next pair online. Have a great weekend. This is Ross at Woodfire Power and Kickstarter um, Aquaponics System.